Hello everyone. I wanted to make a video about what I did to install a Topeak Explorer trunk bag uh, to my Venton Adventure 2 e-bike. Uh, I bought the e-bike uh, about a month ago and Aventon was offering a free battery with the purchase of the e-bike on top of the battery that it comes with so that's effectively doubling your range and it's about a $499.99 battery so I was really pleased with that and um, so uh, I wanted to purchase a bag that could hold the battery to carry it with me on rides and uh, the Topeak Explorer trunk bag which I'll put a link in the video description so you can see uh, where to purchase it on Amazon is where I bought mine but uh, anyway I purchased that bag because it, it is big enough to hold the Aventon battery and it's had straps inside of it to hold it uh, firm while you're riding and uh, the way the bag works is that you use a Topeak Omni Quick Track adapter, and I'll put a link to that as well. That mounts to the e bike's rear rack, and um, that allows you to slide on your bag or you can slide it off uh, if you're not going to use it. So it, it's really handy, uh, and, and that's what I wanted, so I purchased those two items. The problem is that the uh, adapter that the Topeak Quick Track adapter comes with, the bracket that it mounts, is not long enough to mount to the Venton Adventure 2 rear rack. It's supposed to mount horizontally, but it won't fit that way. There's a video that a guy made, and I'll put a link to his video in the uh, video description. He made an excellent video about he and how he installed it on his e-bike. It was an adventure too. And uh, he made it work. However, I think the rear rack has been modified somewhat in the 2024 edition because his method won't work anymore. It simply won't fit. I've read a little bit on the internet and I found that other people had found the same thing. So. Uh, here's what I did to make it work on my e-bike and hopefully this will help other people with the same issue so instead of mounting it mounting it horizontally the bracket that the uh, quick track adapter comes with I mounted it vertically and you can see here in the picture how I put it on the rear rack on my Aventon I used two quick uh, two zip ties to hold it in place until I can get a screw to go through the uh, quick track adapter and uh, and that way it'll hold once I get a screw in there so uh, here you can see uh, I'm going to put it in the second to the end hole on the adapter and uh, I use the screw that came with the adapter kit and I screwed that in it went in fine it held it in place and it, it felt firm here but I knew I needed to put more screws in it so I'm going to put two more screws in the very top or the front of the adapter uh, and in order to do this you're going to have to buy longer screws uh, and I um, because the screws that come with the kit are not long enough to go through the adapter and through the center portion of the rear rack of the Adventure 2 so I bought uh, some one and a quarter inch screws and I brought bought some nylon nylon lock nuts and I bought some small flat washer and you can see here what I purchased uh, I don't think it really matters exactly what you buy as long as you get uh, lock nuts and washers to match and you get at least a one and a quarter inch uh, screw to go through the hole but this is what I purchased if you want to buy the exact same thing so um, Originally, I was going to use a large flat washer underneath, but I decided not to, so I just went with a one and a quarter inch screw, and I went with a small flat washer and the lock nut. So the one and a quarter inch screws will go through the top, through the adapter, and through the rear rack of the Adventure 2, and then you can see here where I put the lock uh, nuts and the washers on at the bottom. Uh, 
Then I just used uh, vice grips to hold the lock nut while I used a Phillips screwdriver to tighten them. And uh, of course I would recommend you using a, some kind of a cloth or something to protect your fender of your bike uh, so you, it doesn't get scratched up. And here's where uh, I've got it installed. The two screws in the top are held again with the lock nuts and the flat washers. The back screw is held with the normal bracket that came with the uh, the adapter, bag adapter. So then all that's left now is to uh, slide on the Topeak Explorer bag. And uh, I did that here so you can see what it looks like once it's installed. It holds well. Uh, it works well. If I'm carrying a battery, it's got straps inside that holds it in place. When I'm riding, if I'm not carrying a battery, it's an excellent bag to carry tools or, uh, hey, if you're going to do a quick trip to the grocery store or wherever, you can put a few things in there. So um, I hope this helps somebody when they're trying to install the same thing and they're having issues with the uh, installing the quick track adapter for the Topeak uh, Explorer bag. Thank you for watching and uh, see you next time.